well, there are a lot of opportunities this government is trying to provide for the youth. And NEP is one of the special purpose vehicles the government is using to be able to support the youth and to be able to curtail graduate unemployment and youth unemployment in the country. And some of these opportunities are we have in the area of various sectors, whether IT, whether food and beverage, whether sanitation, waste management, whatever area that you find yourself. When you're able to develop your business plan and you submit to our outfits, we have a program outline. We have incubation and acceleration program. We have business support program to be able to provide to these businesses so that they can be able to build upon their businesses. They are funding opportunities also inclusive for the young people. Apart from this, we want to move agriculture to the next level by introducing the greenhouse farming technology. This greenhouse farming technology aims at making agriculture, modernizing agriculture, improving agriculture. And you know the youth are not ready to go in with holes and cutlasses. But this is an avenue that you can even dress as you are dressed to be able to be in the greenhouse. It is an environment you don't need the rain, you don't need the soil, you don't need the sunshine. It is a controlled environment that throughout the year we can grow food crops, especially our focus is on vegetables now. And we want to cut short impulse substitution. Shop rides, uh, game, and all of them are importing vegetables from other South Africa and other countries to sell to us where we can grow these quality, high standard vegetables right here in Ghana. So we have taken up this initiative. We are not just growing farmers, we are growing farmers who are entrepreneurs with uh, this technological way of farming. And that is an initiative that we have. It is already underway, it is working, and we hope that within the next uh, couple of years, we'll be having 1,000 greenhouses scattered across the 10 regions, employing uh, almost 20,000 every year, every two years. And with that, we believe that that will be a way of solving our food security issues in Ghana.